Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Hope you're having a great weekend. Indeed, we do. I want to thank everybody for your support over on Patreon. Again, Patreon exclusive videos uh, er every single week. And again, we couldn't do it without you guys. Yeah, you know, we've been talking about this. A lot of people have been talking about this. In case people don't realize it, y you have total disclosure here of the fact that there are extraterrestrials, non-terrestrials, as well as more than likely inner earth and perhaps even beings that have been living in the bottom of our oceans for a very long time. And they do have bodies of various types in reality. Right. So, I mean, if you have family members or anyone that's just really resistant to the idea that there's anything more than us, I'm sure there's some really good clips you could find in here to send to them because part of part of this is all about uh, freeing, freeing us. And sometimes the family support is helpful. Yeah, it's a paradigm shift and it could be scary. Um, here you go. This is a full nine minute video of some things he's calling them orbs outside a military base the military tried to shoot them down in the video with a rocket there was no damage done and they didn't even move the orbs quote unquote are unfazed and what's even crazier they seem to be emitting something that can only be seen on flir um you know in and of itself if you have an infrared camera just try it yourself and you'll be surprised what you can catch pretty much at any time. You can actually see the rocket hit and blow up, but the orb doesn't even move. So here this person says that's why we know it's not human technology. We don't know where they come from. Far superior to anything in our arsenal right now. Watch for yourself. Come to your own conclusion. Well, the reality is that what we are allowed to know is in arsenals is not all that's <laughs> in arsenals the technology we have is far more advanced than what we're being told the reality is and many people are aware of this and it's not just you might think oh cindy and and mike they're lunatic fringe they're just crazy do you know how many people we know that have this knowledge directly as well? Um, it, it's just overwhelming. In reality, many people, I do believe that a big percentage of the population has had direct experiences themselves. I think in times past, they wouldn't uh, dare bringing it up. In fact, my own father, um, who, who died way back in 1998, he only told me some things that he didn't even tell my mom. <laughs> you know, he didn't tell anybody else because of his Catholic up upbringing. But he knew uh, extraterrestrials were real. Absolutely. Well, you know, I mean, it's something that's... Uh, it, it's always been that question out there, and the answer has been a consistent no. It's just us. We're just alone, and... You know, to me, if anyone truly believes that there's a, a, a sense, a part of them that knows that they are lying because you cannot look at the stars and look at this world and truly, truly, truly believe that we are oh. the only thing that exists. There is nothing else. And, um, you know, I think most of it is a matter of going within and getting in touch with yourself and realizing that there's different layers and dimensions to to all of this um but what's curious uh while i'm watching these things drip <laughs> drip this essence is i i feel that that's only part of what we're seeing i think there's a a much bigger type of a ship involved um i think there's something attached to it that we still cannot see even with the special type of cameras this is just part of it it's emitting a type of fuel that it uses yeah and so that's why we we're making this video because so often Cindy picks up things and I selfishly just put it in my own bank, memory bank, and think later, wow, we probably should have done a whole video on that. So, hey, let's just make a quick five, ten minute video and let's cover this because 
she sees and knows what they're doing. She's getting the information from the guides because she could talk to them any time. So what they're doing is pulling energy out of the ether, the very ether. So this is free energy. Mm -hmm. do, you, do, do you understand? I know you guys get it because, again, it's going to be just the regulars that we're talking to. So I know you guys understand that free energy exists. This is what they're doing here. They're pulling this from the ether. They're utilizing it as food. And then they're just releasing uh, the expended leftovers back out. Right. And, you know, I mean, it's it's something that uh, we could have access to, uh, but we don't. And it's because our controllers don't want us to have free energy. Now, the other part of this, though, also is I didn't get that they were really the good guys. <laughs> I didn't get that they were a very good energy. It feels like more of an observing energy. And that's what I was picking up mostly today is a negative type of observing energy, something different than our our star family, you know, because it has a very distinct type of frequency tied to it when it comes to our star family and when it comes to uh, something that is just simply watching you for, for it could be various reasons. We've talked to a lot of people who have had these experiences that they they cannot explain it is just um, something that's really uh, over the top for most of their friends and their family. And they really don't have anyone to talk to and process about it. You, you can't just go get a, a therapist about stuff like this when these things happen to you. And, you know, I mean, not everyone, not everyone is telling a, a fake story here. I mean, this stuff is very, very real and it happens and it's just... I think depending mostly upon the how how it's perceived when these things do happen to people how is that person perceiving it now I also don't think that all of these interactions are bad when somebody feels that they've been abducted there that again that could be for various reasons also but then it is truly up to the person and what they think about the experience that matters yes absolutely as there are many of us that have been pulled up onto uh, ships of benevolent beings. Um, and then, unfortunately, there's many people also that have been pulled up to ships of non-benevolent beings. Um, this right here is footage captured by DOD contractor Rick Ybarra at his home, over his home in San Diego. It's one of the clearest UAPs to date. So what is this? Well, you know, this is a drone. This is a drone. Um, however, it's it's not uh, a drone that was made by humans necessarily. It is an alien drone, but there are many drones that are also made by our military in conjunction with different reptilians. The, this is the reality. Ultimately, you know, the government is ran is ran by non-human beings. This is the big reveal. This is why they want you to think there's nobody but us here. That's the dead giveaway for many people to realize, well, if they say aliens aren't real and we see all these stars out in the sky and they tell you that, well, they're just luminaries. That just means something that's giving off light. You know, and, and it doesn't even click in certain brains that a luminary is just something that's giving off light. But again we see that as above so below life abounds consciousness creates this realm to explore and so when we look out to the sky even though they do have a holographic overlay out there that does uh, allow certain ships to come and go that would be you know complete give giveaways what you have going on is the fact that it is non-humans, non-homo sapiens that have been running the show. And this is why they give us the fundamentalist points of view that there's nothing but God, demons, angels, and the creation of God. You know, which in reality, the real God is within you. But they can't tell you that. You have the ability to... Uh, explore the entire universe within yourself but again there's no power in that there's no control in that mm, it is it is about the control and this too this was another type of a yucky energy that didn't feel too good that felt like an observing type of energy so i think this is really um this is kind of all over the place 
Yeah, you know, it's always been right there in front of our faces. Always been right there. And I know it could be exhausting. Yeah, this is a this is a marathon. It takes its toll on all of us. So make sure you get your rela- your your rest and good nutrition and uh, unplug as much from technology whenever you can as well as the technology has more than one purpose. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.